In this video, I'll be going over the Smite Conquest map, telling you everything you need to know about it. Let's start off with how the map is shaped. It's basically split in half. You have three lanes, two on the outside and one in the middle. Each lane has two towers and one phoenix. The first tower on each lane has two shields on them, which you should kill to destroy the tower faster. Between each lane is the jungle, where everything is. And normally the jungler role is the role that really lives in the jungle. Going between each lane and when you are in the jungle, the enemy team can't see you unless they place wards. Everything is symmetrical. Both sides have almost the exact same thing with a few exceptions. But let's go over what's in the jungle. First off, let's start off with the buffs that are on the map. You have your red buff, which increases your damage. There are two on the map, one for each side, and mainly the mid laner will take that buff. Then you have your blue buff, which increases your mana recovery. There are also two on the map, one for each side, and the solo laner normally gets that one. You also have the purple buff, which increases your attack speed and basic attack damage, and there are two of them on the map. And that normally goes to the carry role, usually a hunter. And another one is the green buff, which increases your health and mana based on your protections. There are two of these on the map, and mainly the support role slash guardian will be using this. The next one is the yellow buff, which increases your moving speed. There are actually four of these on the map, two for each side, and that buff normally goes for the jungler role. Then the last two are the silver and gold buff. There is one of each on the map, and teams typically fight over them. The silver buff is located wherever the solo lane is, and that provides bonus cooldown reduction. And the gold buff is located where the carry and support lane is, and this provides a health shield for whoever has it on, mainly the carry or support. Small tip, you can stack the gold buff or silver buff with any other buff, but you can't stack the red buff or the blue buff, and that's all the small buffs that's on the map. And an easy way to tell what lane you should go to for your role, look at the buffs. The lane closest to the blue buff is the solo role, the lane closer to the red and green buff is the mid laner lane, and the lane closest to the purple buff is a carrying support lane something to keep in mind also on the map you have harpies which gives xp to whoever kills them your teammates can also get the xp if they're near them and there are six on the map and some flying around in the jungle the jungler mainly kills them because they are not in the lane to get the xp from minions now on to the special elements that's on the map in a solo lane you have a thing called the totem which the two solo players fight over and whoever kills it grants 25 gold for all teammates it also increases your towers and if you are in a tower you gain increased moving speed mana per second until the totem we spawn. On the same side, there's an enemy called the Pryomancer, which both teams fight over because it's the only one on the map. If your team defeats it, it grants 70 gold, 15 experience, and drops a usable item called Runic Bomb, which you can use to damage the other team. The last two big elements on the map is the Fire Giant and the Gold Fury, which teams fight over the most, and you should because it can turn the tables in your favor. So please do. On the side where the Soul Laner is, you have the Fire Giant, which is super hard to kill and hits harder than life. If not careful, you'll be seeing this. Welcome to the Gulag. But if you end up defeating it, you gain 156 gold and 305 XP, and above that provides a lot of stats that I couldn't find. I'm sorry, but I promise you it's worth it. On the opposite side of the Fire Giant, you have the Gold Fury. That doesn't hit harder than life, but it feels like you got cheated on. But if you defeat it, you pickpocket it and gain 130 gold and 55 XP, and your structures gain a buff as well. But that's everything you need to know about the Conquest map, but you know the best way to keep safe and Conquest is using wards. What? You don't know what wards are? Don't worry, I made a video just for you. 